All right, let's have that little chat, I guess. Listen, man, about what happened to Bree. Don't beat yourself up over it. There was nothing you could have done. You want to know the worst part? What? I don't feel much. I mean, I don't feel enough. Shouldn't I be broken up over what happened to her? That's how I was when I lost my daughter. When I lost my friends in those first few weeks. But now, it's like I just take something like this in stride. Like this is what our world is now, and we'd better just get used to it. Wow. What did you want to talk to me about? I know you care about Clementine. Anyone can see that. And I know you want what's best for her. But this plan of yours, putting everyone on a boat with no destination, do you really think that's her best chance of finding somewhere where she can be safe? Because I don't. So I want to make you an offer. What kind of an offer? I'll take her off your hands and oh. take her back with me to my people. We're well supplied, well hidden, and a lot of us have had kids of our own. And now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear from There's them. no way I can let this She'll happen. Be safe with us. Safer than she will be if she stays with you, I promise you. That's what you want for her, isn't it? To be safe? I'm gonna pretend you didn't say any of this and give you a chance to walk away. Which you ought to do right now. I know you think you're doing what's best for her. And if you were her real father, we wouldn't be having this conversation. But you're not. And staying with you is not what's best for her. If no one else around here will tell you that, then I will. That little girl's in my care. We've been through more together than you can imagine. Anyone who tries to get between me and her, anyone, is gonna wind up dead. You hear me? Take your hands off me. Can't let Clem go. Even if it is better for her. Hey, going somewhere? Yeah, I'm about to head out. I, I just wanted to say thanks for everything. It's been fun. So that's it? After all we've been through, you, you're you just gonna leave? Yeah, I figured you don't owe me anything. I got what I wanted in Crawford, and I never did like the water. Where will you go? I don't know. I'll figure it out when I get there. What do you want me to tell the others? Tell them whatever you want. I'm not real big on goodbyes. <laughs> Tell Clementine she's going to be okay. You've got a good one there. She reminds me of me. Things are getting happy and sad. Makes me think that things are going to wrap up here soon. I have been sitting down here playing for a couple hours, so... And he's working on the boat. I know. What are we going to do after he fixes it? Where will we go? I don't know. Wherever Kenny says. Oh! Uh, those weren't very good answers. We always do. Clem, honey, what's wrong? Is Ben going to be okay? He doesn't seem the same since he got back. Of course he's not. <laughs> Ben's a good kid. I think he's just feeling guilty about some of the decisions he's made. He's gotten a feeling like he's a burden on the rest of us. Before we leave tomorrow, will we have time to look for my parents? I'd like to, Clem, but I don't think we'll have time. We really shouldn't stay here any longer. It's not safe. Your parents aren't here, Clem. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Man, that's so messed up. What about the guy on the radio? Yeah, exactly. Clementine? She took the radio, didn't she? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I gonna find her again. Clementine? Clementine! Oh, man. You take off. You're crazy, Clementine. Oh, my gosh. Probably better finding him instead of getting the radio. Clem's hat's got blood on it now. No. No. It's not no. a bite. No. no. Oh, fuck. Lee? Lee? You out here? It's not a Lee? bite. There's no way I got bit. Are you crazy? What are you doing out here? It ain't safe. Lee? What? Where's Clementine? She's not in her room. Vernon ain't in the house either. Honestly. What the hell is going on? Whose blood is that? It's that. Oh my god. No way. No. No fucking way. There's no time to worry about me. Clementine's gone. There's no chance she just wandered off on her own? No. No way. Then who the hell took her? I don't know. Last night, Vernon came to me and offered to take her with him. Said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch. I knew we couldn't trust that fucker. Wherever she is, I have to find her. Okay. What do you need from us? Oh. Uh... Clem may not have much time. We have a better chance of finding her if we all go together. Who's with me? We're all responsible for Clementine. And in your condition, you may not make it to her in time. She needs our help. All of our help. That's probably just yeah, a scratch. Right. Plus, the game alone. series would be over so if I was a zombie. We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. What are we waiting for? Thanks, you guys. I appreciate it. What's Kenny going to say? Is Kenny on board with this? Lee, man. You know I care about Clementine. I am a Christian man. And I keep asking myself, if this was me asking you for help, asking you to put your life on the line, would you be there for me? Of course I would. Plenty of times you ain't been. Wow. Kitty man, I'm begging you here. I can't do this alone. I need your help, please. You might not have been keeping score, Lee. But I have. And you've been looking out for yourself more often than your friends. Well, maybe that's a good thing. Because you're on your own on this one. Holy cow, Kenny. What about you, Ben? I don't know. But whatever you think is best. I can't make that decision for you, Ben. You have to decide for yourself. You've been good to me, Lee. Even when it's not been easy. Whatever I can do to help, you can count on me. 
Okay, guys, we should go find Vernon, see if he took her. Let's head out. I'll get the boat out onto the river. Figure I can wait there until you get back. Or at least until nightfall. You're still gonna take me? Even Ben? Yeah. We'll figure out what to do about that when the time comes. And this is the wrap up. No, it's not. Not yet. I don't think we're going to find her. Heck, is packed up and left. Where the hell are they? Looks like they got out of here in a hurry. Vernon, get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt. Gosh, what are we gonna do? bitten what is happening Oh my gosh. Clementine, are, are you all right? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch. Holy cow, is in the majority for every single decision. <laughs> did you kill the boy in the attic? Oh, yep. Yeah. And did I uh, lie to threaten? Oh, good, good. Put Clementine. Nice. Holy crap. That's awesome. Everyone. I, see, that's something I didn't think everyone was going to do is reveal the bite. Even though it's not a bite. Wow. Well, that makes me feel good. <laughs> well, everybody, we're going to watch the... Uh, oh. <gasps> Holy cow. Oh, this is insane. Who came with me? Oh, some people could get... I was a part of a 14%. Oh, I must have said something wrong. That just made Kenny... Kenny stay back. I was a part of a 14% that had all of us, though. Oh, six percent went just by himself. That's that's insane. Well, well, shoot. Wish I had Kenny on my side too, but oh well. Well, that was another exciting episode, everybody. Thanks for watching this episode of The Walking Dead, and I will see you in the next episodes, episode five of The Walking Dead. Thanks for watching, everybody, and peace.